then has taught us a lot about humanity. I received a note from one of his biggest fans that I'd like to read to you. We've just lost a very great human being, a man who never stopped being creative through surrounded by the ever-present threat of death, a man who has left us an amazing legacy with his paintings. Ben was special. He was loved and admired as evidenced by the crowd who has come to bid him farewell on this last journey. God is nigh, Ben. We love you. We wish you peace. Loretta. Loretta Swit, Hot Lips, Mash, met Ben several times, and she was instantly enamored by his wit and charm, and Loretta is an honorary member of the ADBC. I'm featuring Ben in his own documentary, and it's called Survival Through Art. Next week, I will travel to New York City to record Alec Baldwin, who will read the narration for the film. This past Friday, I was talking to Alec, and he expressed his profound sadness to hear that Ben had passed away. Alec and Ben became friends as a result of the Norman's book, Tears in the Darkness. In my upcoming documentary, I asked Ben, how do you want to be remembered? He said to me, I just want to be remembered as a good guy. That's just about it and one who tried to interpret the war and let people know what it was really like. Ben was a good guy, and my friend, and I know I stand with thousands of other people who also were his friend. Like all POWs of Japan, he struggled to settle the demons of war memory with the angels of his friendships. Most important, he kept his faith in tomorrow and I will miss him. Thank you.